Katy Couric. The objects we just saw are commonly sold all over the world and are valued highly by many people. Yet how do we treat the source of these resources that we are so heavily dependent upon? The conservation of the environment is an ongoing issue that is always receiving media attention. Today on Hammer Time, we're going to focus on the emerging issue of human impact on global warming, specifically methane gas, also known as CH4. Methane gas is a naturally occurring greenhouse gas, along with carbon dioxide, water vapor, nitrous oxide, and ozone. The gases all contribute to the greenhouse effect, which is largely responsible for global warming. As our population to continues to grow and develops new technology, the levels of these gases in the atmosphere have grown considerably. The increasing levels of carbon dioxide is normally the greenhouse gas that receives the most attention because the second most prevalent greenhouse gas following water vapor, and because human activity has caused the levels to increase so dramatically. However, the increase in methane gas is also an issue caused partly by human activity and deserves attention and concern. Today, we have Hilda Burke, a professor at Harvard University who specializes in global warming, to tell us a little bit more about the issue. And we also have Farmer Joe, owner of a small cattle farm in Nebraska, who's here to learn about how his cows are involved in global warming. Thank you, Katie. Most people don't know the specific human activities that are responsible for the increase in methane gas over the past 150 years. Livestock and rice paddies, landfills, and pipeline losses are just some of the many causes. And, unfortunately, as our population continues to grow, so do these industries, along with the methane problem. Did you know that one ton of methane has 23 times the impact as one ton of carbon dioxide? That means it heats up our atmosphere a lot quicker than carbon dioxide. Uh, no, I didn't know that, but I still don't get how my uh, Bessie could be hurting the environment. You know, people need to eat. Don't those uh, rice patties produce a lot of food for people? You're right, Joe. Livestock and rice are important staples of, this, of the diet that certainly cannot be removed, but there are precautions that can be taken to help solve this problem. The methane from your kettle is primarily being issued orally, but there is also an amount that is issued through waste deposits. Deposits. And according to 2003 U.S. Department of Energy report on greenhouse gases, agricultural sources, primarily animal waste, account for approximately 3% of greenhouse gas emissions. Certainly a slowdown in either the livestock or rice paddies in industries is likely to cause a decrease in methane. Also, leakage preventing adjustments to pipeline could also be effective. Hmm. Well, I want my business to slow down. How would I feed little Harry and Hannah my dog Taco? Actually. Some farms have taken interesting measures in helping decrease the amount of methane in the atmosphere. The Strauss Family Creamery in San Francisco, California have adopted the approach of taking their livestock's waste and capturing it through a set of pipes that gets pumped into their buildings, which use the methane gas as fuel. This methane digester takes some of the methane out of the atmosphere and powers their whole dairy. Now that's awesome. Wow, that's a great idea. They must save a lot of money on electricity, but uh, it must cost a lot to start up, huh? Actually, this project is funded by California's SB 5X Alternative Energy Grant Program, which focuses on trying to minimize the environmental impact that humans have on the environment. Well, thank you so much. That was very informative. It is important not to forget about our environment. The resources on this planet are not infinite, and as a community, we must take preventative measures to try and minimize the impact on the environment. This has been a special report on Hammer Time. We'll see you next week.